Robert Heffernan with Endotech, exclusively for the Predator Network and Endotech subscribers. This is Blockchain Vitals, and it's our weekend edition. You know, Thursday's hump day in cryptos as we trade 24-7, 365 days a year. And the weekend, in particular, particularly important because uh, we trade Saturday and Sunday in cryptos. They never sleep. Uh, and this is a Friday afternoon for me here on the west coast of the USA. Uh, and so we still have the trading day going on <coughs> for a while here. Uh, a continued pullback, but as I talked about last night, digging in in a few of these coins uh, that I jumped into. And uh, for me, incredibly important how the weekend plays out. Uh, and, you know, the, the candle right now, for instance, in Bitcoin Cash is a perfect hammer uh Sort of a doji, although we didn't have very many weeks trading up. Just the, the big spike last week on big volume in front of this fork. But looking at the candle this week, you know, higher high, much higher high. And we are trading right around where the week opened. Uh, incredibly bearish candle if it was to stick. But, you know, it's only Friday. And we still have all day Saturday and all day Sunday to trade. So you cannot make a trading decision on a candle until the candle is you know, until it's actually a candle. You know, it's got to close and for you to tell me what kind of candle it is. You can't be telling me it's a, 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 a doji or a hammer candle right now when the close isn't until Sunday night. Anyway, uh, so important, critically important uh, what happens uh, the rest of today and this weekend. Um, so we'll be watching that, but let's do the rounds. Doing the rounds, uh, my chance to talk about what's going on in the crypto sphere, uh, and a couple of things jumping out at me. First of all, uh, very interesting, and I got to jump on and do this because I haven't done it yet. But if you trade on Poloniex and have money on Poloniex, uh, you can trade both of the uh, Bitcoin Cash forks right now. Uh, you can split it and trade them. You can't obviously, re uh, you know. Uh, pull off or uh, withdraw either of those forks yet because the fork hasn't happened, but you can trade the price action. Poloniex saying they want to be, uh, you know, uh, a leader in the field here of hard forks and uh, give people the opportunity to hedge. Uh, and I think it's awesome because one of these two is going to outperform the other for certain. And I love the way uh, Poloniex uh, terms it as, as they just, they want to let the market decide. They don't want to decide who's the winner or the loser. Let the price action decide on it. So uh, we got a, 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 a looming Bitcoin civil war. The fork is on the 15th, but you can start trading each, uh, each fork right now at Poloniex. Uh, I thought that was awesome to see. And uh, I didn't know it. And I'm going to get on to Poloniex as soon as I'm done here and start goofing around with it. Uh, the other thing uh, that's obviously in the news here, if you're paying attention, is the SEC coming down on Ether Delta's uh, uh, creator owner. Now he sold it to a, a, a non-U.S. Uh, conglomerate or, or, or people, so he's not running it. They, they, they have no ability to shut it down because it's not here. Uh, but continued, uh, I guess, anxiety. For many of these tokens, uh, if they become classified as security tokens, uh, that's been the talk. And maybe uh, the, the cause of the pullback here is the SEC's action and the seemingly the SEC gearing up to uh, let people know exactly what it thinks. And, and by bringing action against somebody, that's a pretty good indicator that they're ready to play ball. So, the, you know, we see how this uh, shakes out. The price action certainly doesn't uh, lie. In fact, the major uh, decentralized exchanges now suffering with upwards of 50% volume reductions on those exchanges in trading uh, because of this SEC action. So we've got to see where that, uh, what that leads to going forward. Um, and you know what? We're going to take the vitals, and I'm going to I'm going to stick with the uh, the YouTube crowd here because I've already told you what I thought was going to happen for today. So let's take the vitals and talk about it, uh, and see what uh, what what the you know the, the, obviously there's possible setups either way. 
uh, going forward here. Now, like I said before, you know, the candle on the weekly is not, these candles are not done being made. So hard to, I can't tell you what exactly I think on the weekly yet because we need to close in the open Sunday night, which I will be back to do a Blockchain Vitals weekly segment and talk all about that trade setup. Uh, but right now, uh, Bitcoin uh, trading uh, 64.37. How about how uh, the, the whole U.S. tether dollar tether thing has pretty much uh, gone by the wayside, and uh, you know the spread now between uh, uh, Bitfinex and uh, who else do I got here? Bitstamp and Bitfinex is into uh, seven dollars, meaningless in the in the grand scheme of things here. But anyway, uh, Bitcoin is trading uh, 64.37, made a low down uh, today at uh, somewhere around, depending on the exchange that you were on, uh, 64.85, 84, somewhere in there. Uh, so a, a sniffing of the lower momentum level on the daily in Bitcoin uh, and not quite able to get there. Uh, there's still a couple hours left. In the, you know, who knows what happens at the end of the day. Uh, but mind the momentum for sure. Now I talked about XRP uh, right now trading uh, 49.92.50 cents right in there, and I really want to see it. I bought it right at 51 cents at that up momentum level. Love to see it gain some strength here and close back and up more on the daily. But for me, more importantly, again, is how these things trade and finish the weekend now, Saturday and Sunday. I think that's going to be very telling going forward. Uh, because if, if we can't mount a rally and, and, and put in some, some nice green candles on the weekly, I think we're, we're stuck sideways again here. And, and you know, we're going to talk this sideways action. I saw another headline that, you know, some economist says that it's, it's time for Bitcoin to, you know, put up or shut up. Listen, man, the market could trade sideways. Just because you think it should doesn't mean anything. The market could trade sideways for as long as it wants to. And, and then it can still rally or break. The, the sideways action doesn't determine the, 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 uh, you know, the long-term price direction. As long as it's moving sideways, you know what that means? It's moving sideways. It doesn't mean that it's, you know, by his statement, it means if it continues to move sideways, there's only one way that it can go, and that is down. And that's, that's ridiculous for me. to. I mean, I don't think that. So sideways she goes if we cannot put in. A rally here on Saturday and Sunday, and closing some green candles, and we shall sh we shall see how that transpires. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend, and uh, you know we got the Bears looking to notch their sixth win and get closer to that ten win and that prop bet. Bears ten wins before Bitcoin trades twelve thousand. Looking a heck of a lot more like that's going to be the case uh, than. The preposterousness that I was told uh, for even suggesting the prop bet. Some people, there's no chance the Bears could win 10 games. Other people, there's no chance Bitcoin's not trading back to its highs this year. And you saw those headlines all over the place. Well, so far, uh, the Bears showing a, a little bit better chance of winning 10 games than Bitcoin is showing to trade 12,000 before that happens. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend. Stay disciplined, trade disciplined, and I will be back to see you Sunday night for Blockchain Vitals Weekly. Thank you.